Welcome to the next video, and this is a camping video. In this camping video, we're taking the 78 with the Sunline Truck Camper, and we're going to North Central PA. This year is gonna be something different because we're taking three classic trucks. We're gonna have the 78 going up there, and then we're gonna have two other trucks going up, and we're gonna be comboying, baby. Let's go, stay tuned. Just pre-cooling the rig here. Check out Constant. It's just running out of there. Everybody in the West doesn't understand that. At least parts of the West where it's dry. Humidity, baby. Here, I'll show you what it looks like when we're in travel mode. We have the whole dinette, the area for strapping things down. Long time viewers know this situation, but we don't have jacks. We don't have a lot of stuff. We're going a little bit lighter for this trip. We still got the spare tire down here, and then we throw the cushions up in the bunk, and uh, that's about it. Chairs, you know, that's pretty much it. We just roll. Don't have much water, because the campground has water. We're going to fill up. So I might as well save as much weight as we can. Cooking everybody breakfast. Yep, we got <clears throat> breakfast sandwiches. You're right though, I did feel like that guy was further away. Man, you turn that little fan on in there, it moves some air. That's cool. How is your soft water? This is a perfect. Be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that's no good. We got a fancy camera. That's a fancy camera. That's a fancy camera. And we're off. <laughs> yeah, and we're not off. <laughs> no, we're on the we're on the wood. Completely fill it because when it gets really filled, uh -huh. kind of leaks. So internal rest though. Internal. Okay. So how full did you fill her up? Uh, about halfway, roughly, because it's one day and we're not showering in there and just doing dishes for one day. So. Made it. <laughs> this is my 1968 F-250. It was started out as a two-wheel drive from California. We converted it over to a four-wheel drive, installed the 12-valve Cummins, married to an NV4500. Like when customers come to my house, I don't show them this truck. Well, we're we're here and we made it, so it's a big deal. That we it's, need. it's got a three, you gotta open it. You gotta. Boom. It's got a 390 with small modifications. Small modifications. <laughs> oh, I like the flap disc. The sanding disc? That's there for good. And reason. this random grade eight flange head the, bolt. The, the non-cut <laughs> zip, non zip ties and my hoofty wire harness. You, you get, Where's you, the non-cut zip? Oh yeah. You Everywhere. Still, Tags. You still have the auction number on your inner fenderettes? So, no, it's it's not how pretty the truck is. Like I said, it's it's that we made it here and then we got all three and trucks almost, together. And I almost yeah. died. So we cut we cut two of the cylinders off the back of the V8, <laughs> cut her right in half, married her back together, made ourselves a straight six. So is this the cheaper radiator that you're talking about? Yeah, this about? is the cheap one. Oh, where'd you get that from? Like Summit or something or what? Amazon. And then I cut the necks off, TIG welded new necks on top and bottom. 
So that way the radiator hoses would work. Yeah. Not like the Chevys, they go for a joyride before they come back to the filler neck. I got a good exhaust leak to where we got that good soot. Yeah. Where's that coming from? Right here? Manful. That right, right there? Where, yeah, right at the V-band. Is did you do anything to the suspension on this truck? I can't remember. This is 99 to 04, like Super Duty Springs. Okay. And I got an 05 to 07 mm. Super Duty steering box with crossover steering. What about the axles? Dana 44 high pinion. So where'd the axle come from? 78, 79 F250. Okay. What's your gear ratio? 355. So. I love this part of it. That's awesome. Inner door skin. Look at the dash on this truck. It's so cool. It's a little banged up. It's classic, it's man. Did you pull that, that yourself? The Gorilla tape, it's, I, it I works did that for myself. a while. I did that myself. <laughs> this will work for a while. I have the Look Ranger it, like this. It's starting to rip out. I mean, this has only been on here for a year and a half. Well, you that, that? That's you a long that? time. This thing got lazy on this side. Although there's not many. Well, that shut's that. nice. Let's check out the camper shell. I like these nice windows. We gotta talk about it because or does it would not work with the tailgate now. That should work, right? Yeah, look at that cable operated. And it flips this little thing up. And so then it holds it. That's his getup. What is it? Just a regular what you just got a mattress in there? That's a full size mattress. Alright. Foam mattress from Amazon. 119 <laughs> on Prime Day. <laughs> Get that. Yeah. Is that the serial number? Oh, I yeah. That might be yeah, a serial, that's a serial number. number. Statue. That is cool, I man. You look, if you look, I think Five. there's more writing. No, there isn't. Oh, that would have been cool if it told you like the weight or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is cool. Like the 8,000 gross. Yeah. Like, so this is where it got dented when it flew off the guy's property? Now, yeah, I, I, it was bad the other day. Like, it was folded in pretty good. We, we straightened. Was this at your house that flew off the truck or no, the guy's? Idaho. In Idaho, you got this. Yep. And we're in Pennsylvania because people don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so that came a long ways. I don't remember the year. 75. 75, 250, high boy. Is this all, I know it's a big block, but is this all the stock powertrain in this that no. came from factory? So the same, similar hood fashion. <laughs> Give her a little hit. She opens up nice. 400 modified, not the greatest, but it's been running. Well, it just made it 200 miles here. <laughs> it's a Ranger XLT with factory AC. It's it's a pleasure getting the valve cover off. Let's check that out. That tight fit. Wow. I had to do slight modification to the firewall because it pissed me off. Is that for the for getting this off or the? Yes, yeah, so you can get it out behind it. Was yeah. that the, when you took the head off, or was yeah, that the other side? Put these valve covers on that are taller than they need to be, and I'm I too cheap it. to replace them. So <laughs> I just hammered the cab. Okay. <laughs> Don't That's know cool. what the motor came out of, but I'm told Ford didn't put a 400 in until later, so it's not factory, but it fit. And the headers are cool because fender exit because they, yeah fender they go around the ceramic frame. Ceramic coated hookers. And there's nothing else after that. <laughs> and all these trucks are manual except for mine. So <laughs> process 435 four speed 205 transfer case. What's this, Luke? What do we got? Oh, that's uh. Is this what you were fixing? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh. Can we show the operation or yes. is it too sketchy nope, to do? Nope, nope. The wind kept shutting it on me, so you do one of those, and then you come oh. down here and you, you, just, oh, okay. you just J hook it, and that keeps it open. <laughs> I was wondering what you meant with your mechanic wire wing window. Okay. Best part about the truck? This one. Have a hardcore day, balls out. <laughs> so they're just tent camping, but they got the. Uh, that's all you need. That's all you need. Oh, this side's nice. This side's much nicer. <laughs> some people call it patina, some people call it rust. I wish it all looked like that. It is awesome. <laughs> other than my Helper springs. Other than my 79 key, oh. key switch, and I come from the 79, guess what color it was. Yeah, is that because you want your keys to match? Or yes. your, your, yeah. Is this something good? I ended up changing the ignition switch anyway, so they don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this seat is nice. It's this, comfortable. What did this come out of? My 79. That is not, is that factory for that truck? Yeah. The seat? Yeah. It is real, is this yeah. tilt or no? Yep, yep. Oh, you gotta use that. Relocated the fuse panel because I got tired of kicking it and ripping it. So that's all back there, which I kind of like. Yeah, that's, what's this? Uh, I must not need it, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. I, I added it for extra, probably a spare and I forgot what it was for. All right. I think it's for my 12 volt uh, outlet now that you say that. 
that you were looking for. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty, I don't know. Look yeah. at the headliners, nice. I like how you use the factory molding. Tried like hell. That, that's awesome. Got my cargo light switch over there. It's crooked, but. It's in there. Just noticed it now. That's not a factory spot, I don't think, but I had a hole there, so I filled it with is that. that they ha does that factory switch, though? Uh, like, it is, is. I just don't know what it originally came from because all my other trucks used to be built into the actual light switch. Yeah, I got it. Or like in here or into the... In there. Yeah, that's how mine is. Turn, it. turn it over center, yeah. but this don't have that. So my radio, it's one oh, of yeah, them. That, uh, oh, yeah. What would you call it? What's the brand? I forget the brand of that damn thing. But it, it's, it's like okay. a factory. It, yeah. I was wondering when you were driving up here, I was like, I wonder if you have your phone hooked to it, you could hear me talking. And I was like, I, you must not be I able have to. A, I can hear you, you might not be able to hear me. I have the microphone right at the, right behind the dash, like right behind the gauge cluster, but I gotta like scream at it. Yeah, it's got the custom bumper. Favorite one <laughs> is milk. Man, I love pharmacy. And I'm supporting the square body. Well, yeah, you do, I just <laughs> noticed that. He's got a square body sticker on it, that's cool. Farm truck, this is cool. Awesome, thanks Luke for the tour. I think it's time for I'm some sure it would not work. You got the uh, fixing the old flip flops there with some bread clips. That's why they call him Mr. Fix It. There it is. I was a little tore up when I went to bed. I got a bushel. A bushel of bush. Having fun down there. So we got one. We're gonna cook them today. So we're not, we actually, they yell at you for doing this on YouTube. Yeah. I forget where I learned that one, but it was he's a... swimming away. <laughs> and then, and then you can put them. And the other cool thing is you can hook them on a stick, and you can, you can go just like this. Walk Smoke them up. Dude, it's a freaking nice way to clean fish. No, that's not very nice. Jen, how are you doing? Do this for another eight. Ten what are you doing down there? I'm gonna wash my hair. Are you sure? I got the creek soaked. What happened? I don't know. I just washed my hair in the creek, and it didn't really smell that good. It smelled wow. like a trout. So a trout. <laughs> So I think maybe I should wash my hair a little better with some chlorinated water that we got filled in there, right? It's weird. It's a weird situation. I don't know. So anyway, we got the, the water heater running and we got this outdoor shower and it's like perfect. Is it still running? Sure is. But now heat. Running on gas, obviously, because we're off grid. So. This is how she does it. She's got that thing. Is it too hot? No, it's perfect temperature right now. Right now, it's good. She's got her little shampoo holder right there. Nice. Got my free shampoos from some hotel. Oh, all right. Good. We got an update from the girls. We're going to make some burgers. We're going to. In the camper? Up, yep. We're going to uh, cut up peppers. Tough. We're going to make some burgers. <laughs> Homegrown beef, you know where that stuff came from, right? Yep. From from probably calf till packaging of ground beef. Yep. You probably, you probably tell us what, they, mm -hmm. what was the name of this one? Do you know? This one was spooky. Oh, she <laughs> even knows the name! She even knows! I figured she'd know. This is a pretty cool moment in the camper. I mean, we've never yeah. pattied up uh, hamburgers in the yep. camper yet, so this is pretty mm -hmm. fun. What are you gonna do with it? Well, we're gonna cook this rainbow trout. And we're gonna get a little butter, put it in its belly. We're gonna wrap it up. And we're gonna throw it right on that fire with the grate. We're gonna try something new. What do you Tru think about that? Did you pam that first? Yep, it's, okay. it's pammed. So we're pamming Where's pam? mountain pie makers and then putting burgers, in. burgers in the mountain <laughs> pie maker. He locked that down. Did you see that? That was locked pretty secured. It. I could tell. And then. Don't it's just, oh, you got fresh one. It's just cleaner. It's Jesus. just a, <laughs> There's nothing to clean. There's no spatula involved. Yeah. This one might be a little dirty, but it'll be all right. This is the process. Like, oh, it's a double move by me. Oh, yeah, we can make five at a time. <laughs> all right, I'm trying to piece this trout. Right on the step. Right on the step. It's perfect. Jen must have got it all prepped for you, huh? Hit that Did you get that prep? Right no, I, would I, would, I was supposed to do that by a camera in my hands. Yep, yeah. I forgot. Luke was asking for help, but I can't do good. nothing. It could be a flop, but I think it's gonna work. So you guys survived off these mountain pies with a, we with never a made two burgers. pounds. We made of sausage it. sandwiches. We made breakfast sandwiches out of these things. You said it was you had a pound or two pounds of ham and and something else. A case and, of beer and a bag of lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Case of beer and a bag of lunch five meat. Days. They survived for five days on the road with mountain pie makers. That's it. My favorite condiment. We need that. Jackson left early. 